In this video, we're gonna talk about folders, which is a feature in structure that allows us to add additional level of grouping and of hierarchy building on top of generators that we discussed in the previous video. Why do we need the folders? How they can be used? Let's see. This video is part of our efforts to provide best possible training around Jira, Confluence and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below if you have any further questions or ideas for the future videos, and remember that you can always contact us for one of our paid services like trainings, consultations or implementations. Okay, so let's jump right into the tool. I have over here empty structure called portfolio structure and by its name you can already guess what I'm gonna do. So last time when we were creating the structure when I showed you generators and how to use them, so how can we input the data into our structure and create issue hierarchy, we've been basically looking at this from project perspective. So we were creating structure for single project. But very often we need a more complex structure that represents, for example, portfolios or programs where we need to have multiple lower level, in this case, projects. So let's look at how to do that and how folders come into play in that, this scenario. So I will in, insert uh, projects over here. So I will insert two of them, but I will do that separately. So we'll enter two separate uh, generators. So last was DP, so this one will be DP1. And if I'll do that like that, you'll see that basically all the issues that I've inserted are a single list, right? Uh, yeah, sorry, when I did that, it overwrote the, the first insert. So I'll show you in a moment how to insert second projects. So basically, if I'll insert two projects, uh, all the issues from this project will be listed in the same way uh, on the single list. Yeah, here is the second project. And if I'll start creating structure uh, generators, so I will say that, for example, I want to have tasks under epics and subtasks under them. It will be applied to both of them, which is not perfect because in your portfolio, then ca there can be different projects with different hierarchies. So one may be agile, where you have standard, epic, task, subtask, while in the other projects you may have more waterfall approach when you will be dividing work into phases and maybe tasks, something else. So how to do that? First of all, it's good idea to use folders. Uh, so I will create two folders. For now, they will be empty. And now what is great about the folders is that they allow you to put specific tasks inside them, but not only that, you can also put specific generators. So let's look at that. I have here a generator that pulls in the tasks from demo project. So I will actually drag this generator into my folder demo project, right? You can see that all the issues that will pull, pull from this Jira project are now in this folder. So for the other generator, I will obviously put it in the second folder. So let's drag it quickly and put it over here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, so now each of my projects are in separate folders. Now, this already gives me some advantages and some benefits. So first of all, you can see that columns that I see over here currently is just single one progress, but I could add more. Uh, I have for each of my projects aggregated information over here. So this works not only on project level, but if you divide projects into smaller pieces and put them into folders, for each of these pieces, you would see aggregated information uh, for the columns that you see. So this is first benefit. And second benefit, if you're also using uh, structure Gantt, then 
projects or the folders will be represented on the timeline also as separate elements. So you can collapse your whole project and see where it ends on the timeline. You can obviously expand it and see where particular tasks go, but you have basically additional level of hierarchy without the need to create uh, to create additional issues that would represent this project to, to uh, build it or to put it in the hierarchy. So you can already see that if you need to group specific set of tasks into bundles, using folders is, is very, very good because first of all, it, it allows you to manage your tasks a bit better. It's easier to move around if you have uh, work divided into multiple folders instead of having everything uh, thrown in like that, especially if the work is logically also divided like in case of two different projects inside of portfolio. But that's not all. Uh, let's for now close the Gantt side. Folders allow you also to have different generators for different, yeah, basically sets of tasks. So let's say that in demo project, I want to add generator that would group tasks based on Epic. Okay. Yeah, let's create it. And of course, I need to pull it into the proper uh, project. So you can see that here tasks are divided by or grouped on the lower level by Epic. And here we have stories or tasks, while here structure is still flat. So I could add separate generator over here and do the hierarchy building based on, for example, a linked based generator when I tell structure that specific type of link is indicating hierarchy of issues. So again, what I mentioned earlier, with different projects, with different approaches, you may need to create hierarchy in a different way. And folders allows us to do that because we can drag generator into specific folder. So you can see that there are basically two uses for folders. The simple one is just use them to group tasks and see aggregated information, which is completely valid. And this is, I think, what is used the most often, especially when we are talking about structures representing just a single project. On the other hand, more complex scenario is where you have structure with multiple folders and each of these folders has their own set of generators. So basically we may have very complex setups with multiple different folders and completely different hierarchies, completely different set of tasks in here. So these two sides allow for added flexibility. Uh, the generators themselves were pretty flexible and, and very powerful, but putting folders on top of that gives us even more possibilities and allows us to address even more cases. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope it was useful for you. Uh, if you have any further questions, if you would like to know if something is possible within the structure, or maybe if something is a good idea, if something is a best practice or generally not advised, feel free to reach out to us. We have a lot of experience. I'm sure we'll be able to help. And in the meantime, see you in the next video.